Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at insecure direct object references. In this section, we'll explain what an insecure direct object reference is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is an insecure direct object reference? This vulnerability allows an attacker to bypass authorization checks in order to gain access to protected resources. What causes an insecure direct object reference? A direct object reference occurs when a reference to an internal object, like a file or database key for example, is exposed through a link or parameter value. If no authorization check is in place, attackers can manipulate them to access unauthorized data. To understand the insecure direct object reference vulnerability, let's look at an example. An attacker with valid credentials is browsing the payments page of his credit card provider website. The site uses the shopping card ID parameter to determine the payment information to display. This is an internal identifier that references his shopping card. The attacker tries to guess other values for the shopping card ID parameter. Eventually, he finds a valid one. Because of the absence of authorization, the attacker can now consult another user's payment sheet. Insecure direct object reference vulnerabilities can have significant impacts. The exact impact of an attack depends on the parameter. For example, if the attacker is able to access another user's profile page, he could change that user's password. If he's able to access another user's shopping basket, he could buy products in that user's name. All resources accessible through direct object references could be exposed, including system files. Unauthorized access to system files could compromise user accounts, leading to lack of accountability. And sensitive customer data could be stolen, leading to reputational damage and revenue loss. To prevent insecure direct object references, developers should prevent attackers from directly targeting unauthorized resources by using per user or per session indirect references instead. Also, implement access control checks to make sure the user is authorized for the requested information. Never rely on user-defined input parameters like GET or POST parameters, cookies or HTTP headers to authorize access to sensitive resources. Always rely on server-side session information and use mapping values to access objects. All private pages should be protected using an authorization mechanism. Use centralized authorization routines. And finally, no two separate pieces of code should verify if an account belongs to a certain user. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Insecure Direct Object References.